See, it's asymmetrical, but it's also still balanced. My channel might as well be a shrine to the work of Kogonada. It's only been a few months and already I've made three video essays, including this one, talking about his films. And I'm okay with that. For what is admiration without exploration? I, I used to struggle a lot with Hitchcock. You know, everyone loves Hitchcock. I used to struggle quite a bit, but I'm now starting to really appreciate Hitchcock. Kogonada's debut project, Columbus, hit screens in 2017. Ever since, I've been enthralled by the beauty of this film, both in its story and dialogue, and of course, its frankly outstanding cinematography. The beauty of its simplicity is second only to how effective cinematography like this really is. When I first watched Columbus, I failed to really notice the simplicity of its shots, but only because of how atmospheric the film was. It simply goes to show that great cinematography is not just when you notice it immediately, but also when you don't notice it right off the bat. Endless applause goes to Alicia Christian for her outstanding work in crafting such beautiful frames in this film. I don't think Asians can speak English. Yeah, of course. No, yeah. I was just, I heard you speaking the song and I... Sorry, I'm being a jerk. You offered me a cigarette and I'm giving you a hard time. I didn't mean to... I know what you meant. Sorry, I'm having a rough day. For a year? Yasujiro Ozu, a Japanese filmmaker from the 50s who is one of the most timeless filmmakers ever born. He is also one, if not the biggest influences of Kogonada's work. You'll see many stark similarities between Ozu and Kogonada's films. Tokyo Story, a film widely considered to be the crown jewel of Ozu's filmography, also deals with the concept of grief, acceptance and family in their most natural state. The hallway shots are a dead giveaway of Ozu's brand of filmmaking, which has now become that of Kogonada's, as you can clearly see. Architecture is more than just a reoccurring theme in this film. It is a physical representation of various human problems that are spoken about existentially in this film. Metaphors to represent reality. You go through the building and you'll see signs for the main hospital on the other side. I like this building. Isn't it great? Yeah. It's a little run down, but it's still great. Can I tell you something? What? I know a bit about the Polshek in this building. You do? Yeah. He had this idea, Polshek did, of architecture being this sort of healing art, that it had the power to restore, and that architects should be responsible. Do you mind if I... For the tour? No. I mean, with all the details of this building are mindful of that responsibility, especially since it was a structure for mental health. 
This building was meant to be both a literal and metaphoric bridge. Polshek had the same idea for the Clinton Library. Did your dad tell you all this? No. I, well, I think he was planning on writing something about Polshek, but then he found out that Polshek was writing his own book. It came out very recently. And you read it? Uh, some of it, the part about this building. And you don't care about architecture? I skimmed it. It was in my father's room when I got here. Wait, so you... You just recently read about this building? Yes. Does that matter? No, I guess not. You're funny. Columbus showcases modern architecture so beautifully in its many establishing shots and questions the limitations of modernism and how far can we really take it without eradicating the soul of the work that came before. You'd love Eleanor, by the way. Uh, she was probably a lot like you when she was younger. Yeah? How so? You know, an, uh, an architecture nerd. Oh, is that what I am? Yes. Really? Without a doubt. Hmm. Go on. Well, Eleanor was telling me about my dad's latest research. He was writing something on the um, sarin and churches. Really? Like what? I'm not sure exactly. Something about the paradox of modernism and religion. That's interesting. I suppose. Are you religious? No. I think religions are like monarchies. There might be a good king here and there, but the system is problematic. Too easy to exploit. So you're anti-monarchy? Yes. Isn't everyone? You'd be surprised. What about your dad? Does he believe in anything? He believes in modernism. Modernism with the soul. I like that. I don't know what it means. But he used to say it all the time. Something about an alternative possibility. Columbus is without a doubt one of my all-time favorite films. Three years ago, I would have said this was boring and slow, and I wouldn't have appreciated it so much. So if you do watch Columbus, my only ask is that you give it the time it needs to change your perception, your outlook on life. If you enjoyed this video essay, please do subscribe to my channel, it really helps a lot. Please do hit that like button, and also see you in the next one.